Hi guys, so when you log into Brightspace, you should see the course, Welcome to MI Journey. Um, we are going to be filling out all of the content under course content. So when you come in, you look at the home page. This can be changed, of course. And to change anything, it's um, the arrow next to it, and you click Edit. So this first one is an announcement that you tell students where they want you want them to go first. So clicking on course content, I've already put in here, Wendy has actually the module titles and under each module, the sub headings that we saw uh, in blue and then the green um, blocks in Rhonda's document will be underneath each one we were figuring. But all of this can be changed and um, we can add pages in here, which I'll show you how to do, and we can add content to the pages we're looking at as well. So um, we'll just take the first one. And uh, again, if you wanted to edit the title, it's right here. And then if we come to this page, you can edit properties in place. That means like as a teacher, you could make it hidden, viewable, reveal it later, things like that. Um, but what we want to do is edit the HTML. All right, so that brings us in there. I'm going to come out again for a second and go in there in another way. I could just click on the title and that brings us in here. So Wendy's got this little bubbles here. We can change that, but that's on the background of every sheet. And she has this fake um, text on every sheet and the copyright and MI Journey. Again, this is welcome to MI Journey. I don't know if that's how you want uh, the title to be, but that can be changed. So we're in the first one and you then click edit html or you can come back again to the same one and click here edit html so we're going to edit the html so let's say you have a bunch of word content which i have picked up in my, copied in my hand so i would take out this text and i would um, click paste and match style so i selected it all i'm right clicking paste and match style. And then I would put in this little paragraph I have from a document I'm working on for undergraduate studies committee. So that's what you do. And now you can change your heading one to be whatever you want it to be, undergraduate studies committee document. I'm just making up text here and you can change heading one. So let's say you click enter and you put more text. And you think, well, that is uh, something I want that one to be heading one. You just select it. And here, when you click heading one, it'll make it the same font and size and color red. So that's what's happening there. If you want to take something, say we'll make enter, we'll click this one, and we want that one to be heading two, it's all right here. Easy enough, heading two is blue and smaller. So that's how you add your headings. If uh, you are making paragraphs, you do just a normal enter and you put more text. And then you type again. You'll see there's spaces in between there. So I asked Wendy, why is that? I wanted those two to be closer together. So to do that, she said you have to click shift enter. So if I click shift enter, it puts the font tight. So it depends on what you want. So if you just click a normal enter, you get here. If you click shift enter after this one, they're tight together. So that was something I had to tell you about. You can edit the title, the text. That's all you're doing. You can't alter the bubbles here. If you hate them, we'll change them and they'll change all. It's accessing one file in the background. So. Um, I'm going to click cancel and I'm not going to edit that file now, but that's how you do it. What else do I have to tell you? Oh yes, um, let's go back into the file and you've got all your options up top. We're editing the HTML and you can insert a quick link, which is this guy. So let's say um, you put in a web address or it could be anything that you're linking out and you click link and um, URL 
and it asks you what's the title going to be, the clickable part, and then what's the URL. And the URL, you have to give it HTTP slash last beginning, old school. And you can have it pop up in the same window or a new window. So normally if you're sending students somewhere else, make it a new window. Because people often assume it opens in a new window and then they shut that tab to go back to what they were looking at. So that's why we normally don't put it in the same frame, but you have that option there and you can play with that and see what you like. So that's a quick link. And then another thing you might want is the um, add an image. So um, add a file. Is this right? Hang on. Yeah, that was right. Insert image. So you would upload it right here. And you would go find yourself an image and put in whatever. I had uh, earrings here. So we're going to upload earrings. And you could say this image is decorative. There's no alternate text for it. And it will put in an image of earrings. So you put in this image and then you can make it smaller by dragging on the corners and pulling in. And then you've inserted an image which you can center and do lots of things to from these little um, image options up there. So that was under here. Add a file from my computer and you go find it or you can drag and drop it in here and then alter it. Alrighty, something else. Let's see what else. Oh yeah, and another thing. So let me get out of that. We'll cancel that. Let's say you think I want to have another file in this module altogether. I want to add my own file. I don't like this structure. It's not, doesn't have enough stuff here. So what you would do to add a whole new fresh file, you click upload, create a file, and then you browse for template. So the template here is what Wendy has made behind the scenes with the bubbles and the headings and the whole thing we're dealing with. You click bookstore and click add. And this one is just your blank one. So we're going to put that in first. And then you would take out this text and put in your own text. So that's what you would be doing to add a, a brand new file. So that's it so far. I'm just giving you the quick, quick and dirty rundown and we'll talk more about it tomorrow.